Hi everyone, my name is Satya Velakuru. I'm coming from Scripps Clinic and Scripps Green Hospital in San Diego, California, and I have a very interesting case to present to you. So I have a 77-year-old man who presented to the ER with this hemorrhagic crusting lesions that involved his um, entire body pretty much. And it was very diffuse. Uh, it involved the back, the chest, the hands, um, and also the face as well. Uh, I was going on for about two weeks prior to his presentation and he was given some oral steroids by his primary uh, with no improvement and he was also given some uh, antibiotics to see if it would uh, resolve just in case there was a chance that it could be folliculitis. Um, but since the symptoms persisted, he came to the ER. Um, he did have a history of eczema, uh, but he never had a rash similar to this over the past 10 years and the eczema used to resolve with oral or topical steroids. Uh, he had some associated symptoms. He had fatigue, a 10 pound weight loss over the past month. He had some lower extremity weakness, uh, subjective. And then he also had some fevers up to 103 that were documented at home. Um, because of this, he came in for evaluation. On our exam, he had this um, diffuse erythematous crusting um, papules that were involving kind of his body everywhere so including his back his face his chest his hands and legs and it did spare the um, PIPs and DIPs uh, he also had a fever of 101.2 when we saw him and the rest of the exam he had no weakness um, in regards to this this rash at the beginning we didn't think that it was typical for either uh, lupus like a SCLE presentation or dermatomyositis so we were it was very unclear. Um, we got the skin biopsy that showed interface dermatitis, uh, which can be seen in m many different um, conditions, including dermatomyositis, uh, lupus, and also erythema multiform, which is the interesting part here. Um, he did have um, IgG and C3 granular deposition on the biopsy which was more consistent with the SCLE picture and then once all his serologies came back uh, found to have a positive ANA strongly positive positive Smith positive RMP low complements but interestingly Sjogren's was um, Sjogren's antibodies were negative so it was just a very and then he also had a kidney biopsy so we thought that this could be a presentation of SCLE but it was odd that it involved his face and that's the uh, interesting part of this case here um, he was treated with pulse dose methylprednisolone and then all, uh, then transitioned to prednisone 60 milligrams. And he did really well and his rash cleared up within three weeks when we saw him in clinic. So um, the other thing was he also had pancytopenia on presentation. So he did have a bone marrow biopsy, which was negative for malignancy and more consistent with the autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Um, so the interesting part about this case is that even though that there's facial involvement and it's an elderly male in his 70s, there could be very atypical presentations of lupus and you always have to keep an eye out for uh, atypical rashes. The other thing is there's also um, a condition that's controversial in the literature called Rowell syndrome, which is um, an erythema multiform like presentation of SCLE. It's hard to know if it a separate entity or if it could just be part of the SCLE uh, spectrum. So he's doing really well and that's my presentation. Thank you.